Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this in After Effects. So to get started we need to import a picture that we're gonna be working with. So for this effect you want to use pictures that don't have an object in the foreground and preferably pictures that kind of have these lines which are taking us all the way to the background. So a photo like this one obviously isn't going to work because it's going to mess up the effect. So I'm gonna be using this first picture right here and after importing it, you wanna create a set of compositions. So the first composition that I'm gonna be creating is gonna be using the HDTV 1080 presets and it is two seconds long. I'm gonna be naming it picture. Then I wanna create a second composition and I'm gonna be using the same settings. I'm just gonna change the name to displacement map. And then the third composition that I want to create is going to be called clip one. So right now we want to place this composition and this composition inside of clip one. Then inside of the displacement map composition, I want to place the picture composition. If I click right here, you can see what's going on. We have the picture, then we have the displacement map, and then both of them go into clip one. So these are essentially just pre comps. So if I open the picture composition, I'm going to drag this photo right here and then I want to scale it down until it fits. And then I want to go inside of the displacement map composition. So right here we need to search for an effect which is called cell pattern and we need to apply this to the picture composition. And then we need to set the cell pattern type to crystallize and I'm gonna set the disperse value to zero and right now we just have squares and this looks like pixelation. Then we want to set the size to 50 and then we wanna add an effect which is called posterize to this precomp and we need to set its level to five and what we just done is we have created a displacement map for the effect that we're trying to achieve. So then when I go inside of this composition, the clip one composition, I have the displacement map and then I have the original picture. So let's uncheck the visibility of the displacement map and then let's create a new adjustment layer, place it above the picture composition and then we need to apply an effect which is called displacement map to the adjustment layer and then let's set the displacement map layer to the first composition right here, displacement map. And we're gonna set the vertical displacement to zero and we're not gonna really use that value. We're just gonna set use for horizontal displacement to lightness and then we're gonna change this value right here. So right now, if I play around with it, you can see that we already get this interesting effect this pretty much looks like it's a 3D scene and it looks as if I'm moving the camera, but then obviously if I zoom in, you can see what the displacement map is doing. And then we also have this problem of these black edges. So to solve that, we're gonna search for an effect which is called transform and we're gonna apply it to this adjustment layer and we're just gonna set the scale to maybe 105 all the way up to 110, depending on how far you wanna take this effect. And like I've said, these little squares right here of the displacement map are visible, but because this effect only lasts for one or two seconds, it's gonna work fine. So let's set this back to fit, and right now let's animate this. So we're gonna be animating the horizontal displacement and the scale, we wanna create a set of keyframes, then let's press U to show them right here. And then let's move the playhead to one second to create a second set of keyframes. I wanna set the horizontal displacement to zero and I wanna set the scale to 100. So now let's move the playhead back to the beginning and we can set the horizontal displacement maybe to 35. I don't wanna take the effect too far. And now if I preview this, this is what we made so far. So right now let's select these keyframes and hit F9 to ease them. Then let's open them in the graph editor 
and make sure that you're editing the speed graph. I'm just gonna slightly adjust them. I wanna adjust both set of keyframes just to make this animation look a bit more interesting. So right now, if I preview this, this is what we have made so far. And that's all there is to this effect. Now let's show what I was talking about at the beginning of the tutorial. Um, let's import the remaining three pictures to see how they work. Like I've said, um, photos that have an object in the foreground aren't gonna work well. So let me just scale them down right here so that I can use them to show you what I'm talking about. So let's use this picture first. Let's go into clip one and as you can see, this doesn't really look great. Then let's turn this picture off. As you can see, if I use this picture, it's gonna work fine. And then I especially get a nice looking effect with this picture right here. As you can see, it looks really smooth. And that's what I was talking about. Now, another thing to mention is if you wanna do this over and over again, the easiest way to do this is to create a new folder and then name it picture one. Now I'm gonna take all these project items and I'm gonna place them inside of this folder. Now I'm going to save this project. Let me give it a name. And then I'm pretty much going to import the project into itself. So let's select it right here. Let's take this folder out and let's delete this one. Now just rename this to picture two so that you know what you're doing. And then also rename this composition to clip two. And then open the picture composition and you can import a new photo. So let's take this one and let's add it right here. Just quickly scale it down. And then you can create a new composition, name it main, obviously extend its duration to maybe 10 seconds. And then you can add both clip one and clip two right here, overlap these and do this for as many pictures as you like. And then if I play this, you can see that we have made a nice picture slideshow. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. For more tutorials, please check out my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.